We try to do non-destructive analysis in conservation, but when necessary for dye analysis, we do need to take just a small sample of threads. So using tweezers used for surgery and sharp, tiny scissors, I'll take a sample that's maybe two millimeters long, and that's enough for the conservation scientists to hopefully determine what the dyes are. Once we have the small fiber, we need to extract the dye out. We weigh the fiber to know how much material we're working with. We then introduce the fiber into an acidified solvent solution and heat that. That extracts the color compounds off of the thread and gets them into solution. We then dry that down to get rid of the acidified solvent and rehydrate that with a solution that's going to be amenable to our analysis. That solution is now introduced into the liquid chromatograph, which separates out each of the individual color compounds. We also simultaneously measure the molecular weight. Those bits of information become almost a fingerprint for identifying the material. If we can look at the range of compounds that are present in a certain colored fiber, that usually will tell us the dye stuff. In this instance, we find that there's a mixture of both natural and synthetic dyes. The yellow seems to be a material called berberin, which is a natural dye stuff. However, the blues and the greens are synthetic dye stuffs, and because they were manufactured in a lab, there are records as to their earliest discovery date. For this particular garment, it's really a dye stuff that shows up in 1899, which tells us that the coat has to be after that time period, making it a 20th century object.